What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys part five from my playthrough on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we made our way to Eterna City. And in today's video, we are actually going to be completing our second gym, which is the Grass Gym. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel. If you guys want to catch more Pokemon BDSB content from me, there is a link down in the description below to my Twitch page, and the name is right on this layout. Definitely go check me out on Twitch. We are streaming multiple hours over there. So go hit that follow button, turn on notifications so you know when I go live. But before we actually head into this gym, I know we are going to have a tough time. So your boy actually wants to buy some potions. We definitely want to have some potions on deck here. And maybe do we want to buy some antidotes here? We might as well. They're pretty cheap. So let's rock out with some antidotes here as well. And then get rolling towards this gym. Because I know we are going to struggle a little bit. Considering it is a grass gym. And we have a Growlithe, which is a grass type. We have a Weasel, which is a water type. And we have a Togepi, which we actually caught in the last episode. Which is super rare. That Pokemon is super rare to get in the den. So I was actually thankful to actually get him here on a live recording. Which is pretty cool. But Togepi really cannot do too much here. He cannot do too much, and I really wanted to actually capture another Pokemon that would have helped us in this gym battle, but I was just like, screw it. Let's get after this gym. Let's try to just beat it with the Pokemon that we have. But um, I did do a little bit of training off screen, not too much, just like a couple levels. I think Buizel went up two or three levels. Grotto went up one, and Togepi went up like another one or two, but it is all good. Buizel learned Bite, and Grotto learned... No, Grotto learned Bite. Did they both learn Bite? I think they both learned Bite. Let's see. Let's see. They both might learn Bite. Yeah, bite there and bite there, which is awesome. So, Buizel has a decent move pool. Let's try to rock out with him and grab ourselves another gym badge here. But at gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader, me, until they beat all the other trainers. Beautiful. I'll be waiting for you in the back. So, what the little gimmick here is, is everybody's hiding in the trees. You have to find all the trainers, defeat them all, and then the gym leader will spawn. So, that is exactly what we're going to do. We got to find them all. And they're all hiding in different spots. And certain people do not spawn until you take out other ones. So, I forget where the first one's at. The first one might be up here. They're all around the place. They're not too hard to find once you start to see them. There's not one here. One did not spawn there yet. But like I said, there's usually one spawn at a time. And then you beat one. Another one spawns in a different spot. You'll find them. You beat him. And then vice versa. You just keep doing that. How do I get to this side? I think it's through this street. Yeah, through the street. And here is our first trainer. Just chilling in the street right here. So let's get a battle here. Hopefully, we will not struggle here. I think it will be tough. The Rose Raid, I believe, is level 22 from the gym leader. And it just rocks out with Petal Dance. But I think Grotto can pretty much be fine with it. Unless she's, unless she's using a poison move on that. She's rocking a poison move. That could be pretty tough for us. That could definitely be pretty tough for us. But we got Bite unlocked. And I really do like Bite. Bite is a nice little coverage move for him. Which does good damage to it. And it has a chance to flinch. Which is great all around. But we will actually gather up some XP. Just by defeating these trainers and all that good stuff. So we should be a decent amount of level to actually beat the uh, trainer with all the potions and all that good stuff. So we'll see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. Come on, Cherub. Cheruby. You're about to go down. You're about to get slapped up on. Another bite comes in here. Bop. Lay the skater. Lay the skater. But the one problem with uh, Togepi is it is a pain in the neck to evolve. It has friendship, and friendship takes so long, especially with a Pokemon like that. But it will be worth it in the end. It will be worth it in the end when we get a Togekiss. Because we cannot even get a Togekiss until after the 6th gym. Yeah, it's the 6th gym. Yeah, after the 6th gym, that's where you get the shiny stone at. You get it on Iron Island, which you can only go to after the 6th gym. So, it's fine. We're going to have Togepi for a while. Even if it takes up to the 6th gym, we should have his friendship up by then and get it evolved there. So, we can't get the Togekiss till then anyway. So, we might as well just keep it in a party and roll out from there because I really want a Togekiss on this team. Like, dude, this team is looking better and better every single day. And we, we could definitely pick up our 4th uh, Pokemon for the squad anytime we want because he is in the den. But then the other two Pokemon are late game. They're definitely later game. I'm trying to think of the other two. One of them's late game. One of them we can't get to like the seventh or eighth gym. And then the other one we get around after the sixth gym. So team is looking good. I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it so far. But they, when you defeat a trainer here, they give you a hint of where the next person is at. But I think the next person just spawns down here, right? Yeah. Next person just spawns down here. So we'll go down here, hit him up. I think there's three trainers. Actually, four. I think there's four trainers you got to beat before versus the... Uh, the gym leader so it's not too bad it's not too bad but i don't mind versing all these trainers because like i said xp is just so valuable in this game especially with a team like mine but after his gym we should really be thriving things will start to turn into our favor all the typings will start to look a good our way and we can start rolling through routes and rolling through uh trainers because the fourth gym is water we will have no problem beating that and then the third gym is uh is fighting i think it's fighting right yeah it's fighting and that one's actually pretty tough i struggled with it on my other account as well 
because she has a level 30 Lucario in the third gym, and that thing rips. That thing rips. So we just gotta be ready. And by that time, we will have a nice uh our fourth Pokemon on the squad, so we should be fine. And hopefully, we will have Togetic evolved with an air, ready to just slap up on this fools. So that could be really, really nice for us. And Buizel will start to become a main part of our squad with some good moves and all that good stuff. Because it does have Bite now, and it does have uh, Water Gun. So it's got a stab move, it's got a solid coverage move, and it hits pretty hard as well. So I think we'll be fine. I think after his gym, our struggles will start to kind of kind of dial down. Because like I said, going with Grottle and just Grottle early game, or Grottle and Buizel, is really tough. It is really tough. Just all the typings is not in your favor. You're going to struggle a little bit. You're going to be playing slow because you're not going to be hitting as hard, but... In the long haul, it is going to be awesome. But there we go. Take her out. She gives us a hint on the next person, and we just going to get our move on. We are just going to get our move on. Let's roll down here. Roll this way. And then roll over here. And I believe there's a person here. or Yeah, it's up here. It's up here behind these trees. And then the last one spawns up there towards the flowers in the top right corner. And that will be the fourth and final battle. And then we head on to the gym leader. The lovely gym leader. But after... I'm trying to think. After this gym, we have to tackle on a route, and it is a probably one of the longest routes I did so far in this game. It is a long route, like it is a long stretch from gym two to gym three. But then after gym uh gym three, gym four is super super quick. Like you just walk up a route and then you go do that. And same thing with five and six. Like like three to four, five and six is just super quick. You can just legit go straight to the gym and battle it. Whereas two to three is a long tedious route where you have to battle a bunch of trainers get through all that stuff and do a bunch of different missions which i really like but then the next ones we just steamroll through i haven't gotten to seven or eight yet in my other one which i probably will be by the time this thing uploads because i've been grinding that game but so far it's been a blast it's been a blast like i said follow me over on twitch if you guys want to catch that live stream going we're doing post game content all that stuff completing the pokedex it's a ton of fun it is a ton of fun and we are also doing trade with the community and stuff to actually help other people complete the pokedex as well so if you are interested in that, link down in the description below. Link is down there. Hit that follow button. Turn on those notos. Ring those bells, baby. Ring those bells. We got Lindsay over here. And my Grottle's actually holding up pretty fine so far. He's just rocking bite. No one's really hitting him hard. But like I said, the only Pokemon I'm really going to have a problem with is going to be potentially that Roserade. That Roserade is looking a little scary. And this thing's going to Toxic me. You son of a biscuit, man. Dropping a Toxic. Toxic is so powerful. That is so powerful. I have Roserade on my other team, and Roserade, I gave it Toxic, and dude, it's so good. Up especially against uh, Pokemon that are, like, really bulky, or, like, it's gonna work well in the Elite Four when the Pokemon are actually really strong, and post-game will work well, because it slowly does more damage. Each time it ticks, each time a poison happens, it does more and more damage, so, like, eventually it will do almost half health, which is amazing, which is amazing. It's just a huge chunk. It is an absolute huge chunk, but two bites been, been the play here. Double bite down again, take out the Roselia, and hopefully we get a level. I don't think we are. Mm, super close, though. Super close. We should be level 25 uh, after, like, the first Pokemon we KO from the gym leader, so that's good. So we do have a little bit of levels, especially with our Grottle. The gym leader is here and ready to go, but before we hop into it, you guys already know. You guys already know the deal. We got to heal up our Grottle. Grottle is going to be a huge part here. We're going to use that, and then we're going to drop a lovely little potion on you. So we have our Buizel ready to go. How many bites do I have left? That's the real question. Do I want to go back and get my uh, PP restored on my bites? Or do we just tackle this gym leader? 14. 14 should be plenty. 14 should be plenty. Do I have any others? If I have an other, I might pop it, but no, we don't have any. It's totally fine. I'm not really going to waste my time. Going all the way back to the uh, to the Poke Center just for a couple extra bites when I think we have plenty of them. But let's click it in. Let's lock it in. Let's get ourselves another gym badge under that face cam. Cause I love, I love putting them under there. I think it looks so sick. I think this layout is balling, dude. I think it is ripping. <clears throat> but you know the deal. Gotta stay hydrated. Gotta be ready for this gym leader. And who's our first Pokemon? I think it's Roselia? Or is it Cherubi? Might be a little Cherubi. It is a Cherubi. A lovely little Cherubi. Dude, this Pokemon's so sick. It's like big cherry and then little cherry on the shoulder. Love it so much. Love it so much. We are just going to bite this thing up. And we should be able to do a two-turn bite here and finish this thing off. Get the XP and all that. Look at that. Big chompers. He's going to get a flinch. That's huge. That's huge. Flinch that Pokemon. So potentially can't set up a Toxic. Can't set up a Sunny Day. All that good stuff. So later, Cherubi. Next Pokemon might be Roselia. I'm trying to think. I know it's last one. Oh, we didn't get the level there. That's whack. Oh, it's going to be Turtwig. We could switch. What's Togepi at? We do have Ancient Power on him. We do have Future Sight, which is pretty good. Hmm. Do I want Togepi to get a shot here, or do I just want to level up here? 
you know we're gonna rip up with uh we are going to rip up with grotto and you know what i'm gonna actually do here i'm actually going to start growthing out here i'm gonna start growthing for the sheer fact is i want to be ready for this uh rosary so i'm gonna use this weaker pokemon to just toy with and all that good stuff and boost my stats that's gonna play and this thing sets up a reflect what you mean yo what what turtwig has reflect here that was so unexpected so unexpected we're gonna start boosting our stats up let's get that attack up special attack up and this thing is going to go for a grass knot which is just easy eats so i don't mind constantly growthing and just being able to dump on that rosarine smart play by me smart play by me growthing up so we're plus three on attack they do have reflect i would like to get like maybe one or two more growths in here and then pop off on this thing but i also want to drop a potion as well just make sure i'm full health because rosary potentially outspeeds me and it could potentially have a what's it called it could potentially have a poison move and that could be detrimental to me so we get that attack boost again is this going go constantly going for grass knots? you don't work up and this is why i use the potion so workup's gonna come in here he's gonna boost his stats workup's a great move his attack stats going to the raise and his special attack is gonna boost. so it's basically growth but do i heal up here yeah let's heal up before we actually uh Let's heal up before we actually bite this thing, because I think we are going to one-tap this thing. What are we, plus four? I think we're plus four. But they do have a reflect, which will neglect some of the physical attack damage. But I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it all day. Little Turtwig over here, setting up a reflect. And how many turns left in reflect? It might end soon. It might end next turn. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so that's beautiful. That works out perfectly. So we just growth until the reflect's gone. Drop a nice big bite here. And this should KO the Turtwig, no problem. Really? Look at that, yo. Look at that. The growth strategy out here. Working wonders. Working wonders. And there's level 25, which is beautiful. Buizel will evolve, I think, level 26. So I don't think we will be able to evolve it in today's episode. But next episode is looking pretty good for it. Next episode is looking really good for it. And I don't know when Togepi's going to evolve. Level 22 Roserade comes out here. I think it might outspeed me, but we're going for a bite here. He's going to drop a Grass Knight. We might be able to one-tap this thing. We might be able to one-tap it. I'm just not sure if it has a poison move or not. Bite drops. And yes, sir. Yo, the growth strategy is where it's at. Made this gym a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Look at that. Mean XP. Everybody gets level up besides Grottle. Buizel levels up. Togepi levels up. Togepi wants to learn Yawn, and we might give it to him. Because this could be very beneficial for him. What move would we get rid of? Future Sight ain't bad. Hmm. Future Sight is not bad. But no, I do like its moveset. We have Charm for minus that. We have Health. I mean, are we really going to use this? I don't really think we're going to use life do. I just don't see it happening for double battles. Mm. We don't we don't really run into a lot of double battles. It's a good move for when you're uh, going into like the, the rank double battles or casual double battles in post game. But I just think for now, for the reason that we're using this Pokemon for, it's just not happening. But yo, give me my second badge. Add it to below the face cam jeans. Hey, future jeans, when you're editing this video, make sure that's down there. Make sure that's down there. Don't worry, guys. I got it. I'm on top of things. I'm on top of things. But there we go. We get that. We can now use cut, which is awesome. And she also gives us a TM. I forget what TM it is. TM 86. Which one is this one? I feel like I should know this one. It's grass knot. Okay, so grass knot's not bad. That's not a bad one, but there we go. Gym 2 in the bag. We can actually start uh, doing a couple more things this episode because that only took us about like 10, 15 minutes. That's too, not too bad. We can start making our way towards the next gym. Because like I said, the next route is pretty long. It is pretty long. And I actually want to go here. And I think we put Buizel in our front spot. I think we put Buizel up in our front spot. And we start rolling with him. He's money. He is money. But we can now use Cut. Which means we can backtrack. We can go get some different items. We can do all that different stuff. Or we can just keep rolling in and uh, getting, a, getting off. Or going about this game. But there we go. Give me my health, yo. Loving the team, yo. The team is going to be so good. Like, it's going to look so sick when you look at the bottom and all my animated sprites, and I have all my team fully evolved. I cannot wait to show it to you guys, because so far we got it. It's already looking fire. So far, it is all, already looking fire with the uh, Torterra, Floatzel, and the Togekiss. Bruh, getting after it. But we got cut now. We can head inside this building right here, which is exactly what we're going to do. And we're going to go see what's happening here. We got Team Galactic, and we got to get after these Team Galactic people. And I should have led the Buizel and the Togepi. Probably should have been my play for double battles. Should have had the Togepi up at the front. 
should have had the Togepi up in the front, but we are going to be trying to show off Buizel a little bit more and other Pokemon because we've been riding Grottles back for a good bit now, and it is time to start using other Pokemon. But Buizel is starting to turn into his own little guy here. He should be able to start ripping up. We're going to go for a nice little Water Gun over on Zubat, and then I think we can just bite this Wurmple and finish it off. Water Gun. Hey. Yo, that's a sick animation. He hops up and like flips his tail around and just goes about it that way. That's a cool animation. I really do like Buizel's, uh water gun animation. Super cool all around. But there we go. Give me all that XP. Zubat's going to use Absorb. Chill on me. He only did four damage. I thought it was going to chunk me up. I thought it was going to chunk me up. But Buizel does outspeed Rattle. He's a fast little Pokemon, which I like. So another water gun's going to fly out here. We are going to take out the uh, Zubat with the water gun. And then we are going to go into Rich Leaf. Uh, nah, not very effective. I'd rather just keep going with the Bite. Bite is such a nice little coverage move that he learns. It's really helping out Grottle and really helping out my team throughout this playthrough. So let's rock out with the Bite. Get him. Bite. Uh, hey. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we can defeat Team Galactic, and I think we will have time to actually start uh, bouncing up the next route. Next route, route, whatever you want to call it. I mean, I was gonna fly out here and it's probably whipping up fake out. It could be annoying. But I'm just gonna go with my stab moves. We got Razor Leaf rolling. We got Water Gun popping out here. And he does not go with the fake out. So he goes with Scratch. That's gonna tee off on my Buizel a little bit. But he's thriving. Razor Leaf pops. But if there is another double battle, I wanna get Togepi out here. It'll, get, it'll gain more XP that way. And it will actually be, uh, get his friendship up a little bit. But I do have to find a Sooth Bell. A Sooth Bell could be nice. I might have to do that off screen. Find a nice little Sooth Bell just so I can give it to the Togepi. And Togepi can get his friendship up a little bit. But that might be something I have to do off screen is A, get a Sooth Bell and maybe do like contests with it and all that good stuff. Kind of roll off from there. Let's see what these guys are doing. Oh, I can battle all these guys? I think when I did my original or on my stream playthrough, I didn't even know you could battle these guys. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use these guys for XP. I'll do it all day. I will do it all day. Because you guys know me. I love to battle every single... Uh, trainer in this game. The more XP, the merrier. I might have to get Togekiss out up against these guys. Not Togekiss, Togepi. Yeah, nice big old water gun. Awesome. Poison sink pop. Yo, I swear, if you poison me, I'm done. Thank you. Thank you. Weasel getting after it. Yo, he is so cool, man. I absolutely love Weasel and Floatzel. I think it is one of the coolest water types in Pokemon. So cool. Little sea otter. Doesn't get better than that. Nice little sea otter, dude. Some people don't like him, and I'm like, yo, what you mean? Well, let's just keep weaseling this. Okay, so we can't fight you. Was it only that one? Oh, it was only that one. Okay, never mind. All right, that's fine. Onward, up to the next floor. We got a battle right here, and we're going to tee off on you. Why, thank you. We love it when people come to us and donate their Pokemon. Psh, donate my Pokemon. Do you know who I am? Does this person know who I am? Get him out of my face. Get challenged by Team Galactic Runk. Yeah, donate Pokemon. He throw out a Wurmple. Is this what you do? You think you're good and you throw out a dang Wurmple. Get out my face. Get on out my face. Drop a nice big old water gun. Might be able to one tap it with my Bleeze, man. Oh, so close. Free Focus Ash. This thing is on one HP. Handing out free Focus Ashes. We're going to use our first bite with this guy. Actually, I should use Quick Attack. So I'm playing real. We got to use Quick Attack there. It's first turn priority. And he's on low HP. We take him out easily with that. But get that. Oh, only 40 XP. I want Togepi to evolve. Well, not evolve. Took be to level up. Hopefully evolve. That could be awesome. The quicker I can evolve that Pokemon, the better off we will be. Because then I'll start learning. We can start teaching it air moves, aerial ace, all that good stuff. And it can start ripping. Another free Sash, man. These Pokemon are living on one HP. That is one HP because they're so low on HP. So the bar is like, it's thicker. But there we go. We finished them off. Critical hit. And I did not quick attack again. Gotta be better. Gotta be better than that. There you go. Took a beat. Ooh, so close. I think he's got one more Pokemon. A Zubat. We'll keep this thing out here. I should have. Should have played Togepi up against Zubats. We are going to see a lot of Zubats. So Togepi can work out with that because we do have a. Uh, we do indeed have a. Uh, ancient power with that thing. Only has 5 PP, but yo, it can do some work. It can do a lot of work. But we're going to quick attack this time. Learn from our past mistakes. Uh, Bilp and see you later, Zubat. See you later, Zubat. That's what's really good about Floizel. It also learns Aqua Jet, which is a great first turn priority move. Great first turn priority move, considering a stab for Buizel. Buizel wants to learn Swift. Ooh, I do like Swift. Yeah, we starting to learn some good moves. We starting to learn some good moves. And in this case, I think I just get rid of, uh, I guess you get rid of, uh, Tail Whip. 
I just don't really think we need Tail Whip. I feel like every other move is beneficial for us. Bite is a nice little coverage move. Swift is just normal and it never misses. We got Quick Attack for first turn priority and then we got Water Gun for our stab move. Awesome all around. Awesome all around, but we'll keep tackling up this tower. Let's roll out. Oh, dude, <laughs> we got this guy. I thought this guy was on our side. He wasn't dressed in like a grunt outfit. He was not dressed in a grunt outfit. Let's see, scientist Trey Bond over here. It's goody Trey Bond. He's gonna send out a cadaver. You know, you know we got that dark move rolling with us. You know we dropping that dark move on. And if we don't one hit kill him, we can definitely check out the animation for Swift because I have not seen it yet. It's pretty cool. Bite's gonna fly. Yo, one hit. One hit. Get him out of here. And this is a great Pokemon actually KO because when Pokemon are evolved, they give us more XP. So we should get a nice little chunk of XP here. Look at that. Beautiful. Togepi level up. Grotto with the level up as well. Togepi. Learn a move or something. I don't really think it learns that much. It doesn't learn anything that really hits. Neither does Togetic or neither does Togekiss. Togekiss doesn't learn anything. But Togetic will and Togekiss are really good with TMs. They're really great with TMs. So that's why it is awesome. You can get an amazing moveset just with TMs. But before we hop into this battle, I do want to actually heal up my uh, my Buizel here. Give us some... Potions, that's all. On one's fine. We can we can chill on 54 and we'll talk to you and finish you off. Not the Baneri. We don't want to talk to the Baneri. All right, let's see. Guess we gotta defeat this commander right here. Getting after the commanders. Team Galactic's fun to verse. But they are a little repetitive with the Pokemon. Until you get into like the uh, higher levels, they do have really cool Pokemon. Like eventually when she evolves into the Crobat, they have Perglias. Dude, it is sick. It is sick, especially when you do the Galactic Warehouse. That's the late game. That's past the sixth gym. But. We're gonna get rolling here, drop a nice big old water gun. And dude, if you have another Zubat, I'm definitely bringing out Togepi. I'm definitely bringing it out, but big old half health on a crit. Love to see it, and oh, thank the Lord. Love you. Love you. I love you for dodging that. Because being confused is so annoying. It is the absolute worst. Another water gun pops, and this thing is going to dodge another one. Yes, sir, Weasel. Let's end it with a Swift. Swift never misses, and we get to see the animation. Ooh. Ooh. Big fan, a bunch of stars flying out after him. Zubat, get out my face, trying to confuse me twice. We don't need you here. Let's see the next Pokemon is going to send out a skunk tank. A tank. You know, you want to bring out a tank, we bring it out the big guns. I'm not playing around. It wasn't just a stunky. It is a stunk tank. Second stage, big old bulky boy. Diamond exclusive too. Diamond exclusive too. Perglia and Glamio is uh, Pearl. This one is Diamond. Any of you guys were wondering, but we're gonna rock out with a razor leaf here. Get a little bit stabbed. This thing has flamethrower. What you mean? That's the worst about playing. Like uh, when you're just chilling here. Oh no way you avoided that. No way you avoided that. This thing's gonna drop poison gas. That's rough. Puts me on the poison board. Now if he flamethrowers, we probably die. Razor leaf comes out here, and we're slowly chipping away. I probably shouldn't have used that. I mean that's not very effective. Um. Hmm. Do we hard swap? I could bite. I am going to... Actually, I'm going to potion up here. He's probably just going to drop a flamethrower here. Probably going to drop a flamethrower here. That's a pain in the neck, man. This thing is rocking flamethrower. But like I was saying, it's so annoying when you're playing solo because you do not know what uh, what moves people have. Another flamethrower is going to drop here. Dude, this is tough. Can we eat up another one? Because I want to get off a bite. I don't think we can. Wow, can you do him dirty? No, I don't want to run. <laughs> I don't want to run. We are going to go for this bite here. If I can get this off here. We're going to go flamethrower. We're dead. Eat this up. Live on one. Live on one. Give me a focus sash. Oh! Free sash. We're going to die to poison, but we do get off a bite, which is huge. Uh, it's not really going to do much anyway. <laughs> All right, yo. Buizel and Togepi. Buizel and Togs. Let's do it. Let's rock it, Togs. I could uh, charm this thing, which could be very beneficial to my Buizel. I mean, he's using special attack moves. Yawn, Future Sight. Poison Gas coming out of here. It's gonna poison me. We are going to yawn it. Yo, Togepi, clutch it up, baby. So we yawn this thing. Now I'm gonna use a Future Sight. Sunk Tank getting drowsy, man. Let's go, Togi. Let's go, Togi. He's gonna snarl on me. That's fine. That's fine. We eat. We eat. Togi. So when this thing goes to sleep, will Future Sight still come through here? 
if I swap we're saw an attack I think that'll just come through later this thing is gonna go to sleep here which is awesome night 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 let's start dropping ancient powers here start dropping ancient powers get it Togi he slumped he slumped we'll heal you up next turn don't worry Togi coming in clutch man give us a stat boost too you have serene grace which is wonderful give us a stat boost mmm we need future sight to come in do I heal I might heal my Togi. We're gonna heal our Togi, yo. Could you imagine if we clutch this up with Togepi here? Love this Pokemon. Super Potion comes out here. Uh, I think I might swap him next turn. But I don't want the Future Sight to go away. I don't know if we swap, if it does anything. But I want the Future Sight to hit. Because it is base 120. He does took the Future Sight attack. Oh, it doesn't affect him. Should have swapped. So we swap now. And you know, we're gonna yawn this again. Do we charm it? Let's charm it. Let's charm it. This thing is slumped. Charm it. Let's drop the thing's attack. We need that, because our Buizel's going to be the only thing that can take this thing out. We know Togepi ain't doing nothing. So we're going to use that. Uh, and I say it wakes up here, so we are going to set up another Yawn. Yep, it wakes up. Beautiful. And this thing is just going to snarl. We're going to set up another Yawn, and we might just swap next turn. Did we swap next turn? Yeah. We're definitely going to swap, and we're going to get rolling with it. Yawn coming out here. This thing's going back to bed. Going back to bed. And I totally forgot this thing's typing, so that's why our future site did not hit. Or that's why we went in the future site, because I definitely forgot this thing's typing. But there's that. We want Togepi to get this XP. So we are going to swap into Bwiz. Lovely little Bwiz here. And I wonder what this thing's going for. Maybe going for a Snarl, and if it does, then we can't use Water Gun. So it'll be minus, but this thing is going to go to sleep. So it has Snarl, it has Flamethrower, it has Poison Gas. And acid spray. As there's its moves, this thing is going to bed. Let's get after this thing. Oh, and yo, we got the stat drop. My special defense is down. But beautiful. Togepi puts this thing to sleep, yo. Togepi actually helping us out here. Let's go for the water gun. Start slowly chipping away on this thing. So we do outspeed, which is awesome. And of course, it has to bury. Of course, it has to bury. Let's keep hitting on this thing. This is a pain. This is a pain. Let's go here. Another water gun. Let's go, Bwiz. Let's go, Bwiz. Mm-hmm. We're gonna lose. We're gonna die here. Do I ever revive? What you mean? What you mean? Do I ever revive? We're gonna lose, dude. This skunk tank is just going to tee off on us. Do I have a revive or anything? We do not. We do not. Togepi is gonna go down here. And that's going to be our first test. So we're going to salute to this one. And we're going to be back after this skunk tank. This Team Galactic member wants to play games with us. I'm over it. I'm over it. I gave my Grotto Cut. I gave him a Petra Berry in case he want to poison him. And I gave my Buizel an Orange Berry. And we're leading Togekiss up against this Zapdos. Because I do think Togekiss can just rip the rope with Ancient Power. And we should be fine with that. Not Togekiss. Togepi. Togepi. But yo, that skunk tank gave us whoop in that last one. But we thrive in here. It's all in fun. It is all in the fun. But let's see what Togek, uh Togepi has. We could future sight it, but I think Ancient Power should do work here. And of course, he's supersonics. And we don't like that one bit. We do not like that. Come on, Togepi. You got this. This is why we got you on the team. That's why we picked you up. You're the best. You're the best, yo. Rip this thing up. Get it out of my face. How much damage are you doing? More than half, right? Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful, Togepi. And we get them stat boosts. We get that attack boost. We get the defense boost. We get the special attack. And we get the speed boost. Which is awesome. All stat boosts. That's what's great about Ancient Power. And now we should be faster than Zubat. So we should go first, I'm thinking. Let's see. We snapped out of confusion. Yo, Togepi is teeing off here. He is teeing off. So we could stay in this battle and we could yawn it. But I'm thinking of just going straight into Grottle and getting right after that Pokemon. Just hitting it up with cuts. Doing all that good stuff. Trying to get that berry out of that Pokemon. But there we go. Grab some XP there. And he's about to send out the Skunk Tank. Switch Pokemon. Grotto, get on out there. You're level 26. Carry this team to victory here. But yo, Togepi, good work. Yo, getting on the board, baby. Getting on the board with some KOs. Grotto, hopping out here. Big old turtle. You know, you got this, baby. You got this. I had to give this thing cut because, again, we didn't really have anything to kind of just, like, get after this Pokemon. He's probably going to go for a Poison Gas or a Flamethrower. There's the Flamethrower. And eat up all day. Yep. We tank it, little boy. Let's start cutting up. If he goes for another Flamethrower, I'm fine with that. I don't know if we should... We have our uh, Petra Berry, so let's see what he does. He might go for Poison Gas now. I guess we're going to get another Flamethrower. I don't mind that, because we should be able to eat up all day on 8. And now, more importantly, we can hit him up with another cut. And I could send a Potion this turn. That's doing some damage. 
Do I have any big potions or do I only have super potions? I only have super potions. So let's keep doing this. I'm waiting for this thing to send like a poison gas, man. Because then we get Petra Berry Eat. Which is awesome. What's he going to go for? Another flamethrower? Of course, he's not going for poison gas now. So we have to go for another heal. Which I don't mind, yo. I'll play the slow game with this thing all day. We're beating this thing right here. We're not losing to it again. We are not losing to it in back-to-back -back battles. It just ain't happening. It just ain't happening. And this thing stopped going for flamethrowers. But we know we can eat up another flamethrower, which is good. So we can go for yet another cut. We can go for yet another cut and actually trigger his orange berry. Trigger his lovely little orange berry. He goes for dude. This thing is just sending him. No poison gas. It's like we put on that petra berry for nothing. For nothing. Cut's gonna fly through here. Yeah. Hey. Sending it. Getting some big damage. And there goes that thing's orange berry. His lovely little orange berry. I could use Togepi for a sleep and a heal. I maybe should have bought uh, revives just in case. You know, we went down. Then we could have used Togepi to put somebody to sleep. And then heal back out somebody. Which is wonderful. Can this thing go for like a poison gas? Bruh, 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 bruh. Oh, we should be able to eat up another one of those. So I am going to go for yet another cut. And slowly but surely win this battle. Another flamethrower flies out. And this thing don't miss. He don't miss. He don't miss. We eat up again. We are slowly doing this, yo. Cutting up. Hey. Awesome. Let's go into the bag. We send another super potion. I told you. I'll do it all day. I'll do it all day. But after we defeat this Galactic member, we will unlock the next route. And I kind of want to head over there and uh, and get a little bit of things going there. I just want to get on the board there, do a couple battles, and then end off the episode over there. Because we've been recording for a good bit. But I feel like we can uh, crunch a little bit more content into this video. Hopefully you guys do like the little bit longer videos that really works out for uh, Pokemon playthroughs. Because the games do take a little long. But he's going to put us down to 8. I think we should be fine here even if he goes down. So we're going to go for this cut here. And I'm thinking Buizel should be able to KO. But we are going to go for one more cut here. We're going to go for one more potion. One more potion play it slow. I want all this XP. I want it all. So let's see. It's not, oh, finally. He changes his moves. He changes his moves. After going for 50 flamethrowers, he finally changes his move. But let's roll out here. Drop a nice big old cut, and this should be able to finish it out. And now he goes for poison. Dude, took him long enough. Took him long enough, but this is exactly what we had it in here for. We have a lovely little Petra Berry. That's exactly what I wanted it for. But when you do that, because the poison was very bad for us. No way. No way he dodged that attack. Now he goes back to the flamethrower. No way he dodges that attack. Come on, get out of my face. He goes for that. Cut. Can Cut finish it off? If not, we will let this Glottal die, and then we'll just have a Breezel finish it off. But there it is. Cut does it, and Aftermath puts us on one. What you mean? Almost kills my Glottal. But we take those victories all day. Get out of here, Team Galactic. You can beat me once. That's about it. But Breezel still has that Orange Berry, which is great. It'll probably come in clutch later. I'm just going to totally forget about the Orange Berry. And then eventually I'm going to be like, oh, we're going to die. And then we're going to make Nas on your Orange Berry coming in clutch. But that is awesome. Beautiful. We take out the Galactic Commander. And this guy talks to us, and I think he gives us another jar of honey or something. What's he give us? He does get, oh no, he doesn't give us anything. But there we go. Basically, finish up Eterna City, all that good stuff. We can heal and start making our way to that third gym. Like I said, I want to head onto that route, and we'll probably finish off in that route, which is pretty cool. And then probably next episode, I think we're going to grab our uh, fourth Pokemon. I think we are going to grab our fourth Pokemon. Should be awesome. Bam, bam. Actually, I want to go here. I'm going to go over this way first, because I believe... There is a TM over here that we can get. And I, if I remember, is it Shockwave? Might be Shockwave. Let's see. Let's see what we got over here. It is Thief. That's what it is. Thief. Thief, which we might not use. Probably won't use. But it's all good. We chilling. We chilling. Let's go heal up the squad. We do have Togepi in the front. I kind of want to swap Togepi out of the front. We're going to throw lovely little Buizel. Yo, we are all one. Buizel, get up in that front spot. We're going to go over here. Heal up our Pokemon. And then roll to the next route. Like I said, just want to do just want to do a couple battles and uh just showcase off the next route and showcase what we are going to be doing in the next episode because like I said, it is a large route. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it is a large route, and it might take us the whole episode or maybe even two. So it's, it's long. It's long. Well, let's check the map. I think we go straight down from here. Town map. Where are we at? Oh, what are we at through here? Go visit. Oh yeah, we need a bike. Oh, and we go through the bike. Okay, I know exactly what we do. We have to head down the bike route. And go that way. So we get ourselves a free bike. This is what this guy gives us for uh, saving him in Team Galactic. Awesome, awesome, awesome. He says, yeah, yeah, yo, come outside with me. We're going to give you a free bike. And 
actually next isn't the route that I was talking about that's long. The next episode we will actually start off on uh We'll actually start off on the cycle road, which we should finish up quick and then uh, head to that route. So we'll probably do cycle road next episode and alongside with that route and then maybe finish up the route in the next episode. But the bike is sick in this uh in this game. It moves really fast and moves, moves really smoothly as well. Like look at this. Yo, we can zoom with this thing. Yo, now we can just go down the bike route and it should be straight down this way. Awesome. To the bike route. And there is plenty of Pokemon we can actually catch because there's like a little section down there. Which you can dip down and go do things. But let's go over here and defeat a few trainers on the bike route. I say we do two. I say we do two and then we call it an episode. Because I think there's a total of five and we could just whip them up in the next one. Yeah. I'm with it all day. Star Ravia coming out here. And we do have Buizel in the front. And Buizel should be fine. He should be chilling here. We do have Swift. We do have Water Gun. Water Gun is probably your best bet. Because we got that stab. This thing's rocking Intimidate, yo. Star Ravia with Intimidate. Good thing we have some special attacking moves. Lovely. But I would love to get a physical attack and move from Weasel because he is a physical attacker. Some decent damage pops out there and this thing is going to growl. Drop my physical attack. It's all good. We are thriving. We are thriving. Battle. Water gun coming out again. And ooh, put it on one. Quick attack stuff and kind of come out here. And we chill him. But that's something I really like about Weasel is his speed. He outspeeds most Pokemon. His speed's a high point of his... uh. Of his thing, but I wish we got a different ability because we have Swift Swim, but like Swift Swim, we're really not going to use it because when it, how often does it rain? How often does it really rain? Maybe we should catch another Buizel. I don't really know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about it. We'll see what's going on, but we can't really like desert our our awesome Buizel. This one, this one's going to be we're going to be rocking with it for the rest of the game. So I think we're just going to keep this one. But again, I think there is a better ability. I just don't know what it is. There's got to be a better ability than Swift Swim. Maybe it's he has Swift Swim and a hidden ability, like most Pokemon, or maybe he has two abilities. But Bleed's gonna fly out here. Uh, Shinx is electric typing, but I'm gonna leave it up to him. I'm gonna say he can do it. I'm gonna say my boy can tee off on this Shinx and finish out this episode or this video, whatever you wanna call it, in a strong fashion. So Water Gun's gonna pop. Look at that. There's no way he kills me in one shot. He goes for a tackle. Awesome. Water Gun's gonna be able to pop out here, and we're gonna finish strong here. Bleed's will pop him. Dope, dope, dope. So there we go, basically halfway cycle road that will lead us into a good spot for the next video. And then the next video we can also uh, start the extra route and head towards that third gym. Cool, cool, cool. Dope, dope, dope. Cyclist Megan, get on out of here. We ain't dealing with you. We are not dealing with you. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button button blah blah button and join the community can't speak right now but thank you guys so much for watching in the next episode we are going to actually head over to the uh what is it called the next gym we're gonna start making our way to the next gym completing cyclist road and head on to that next route but thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you all in the next one peace out everybody